or your heart will break. Why is it always about you? Why not about my heart or Haley's heart? They're precious to me. That's why you lied to us? Oh. Liza, I had an attack. You did not. The first one was real. Talk to my physician. Oh, you no doubt paid off. Do you know how it felt? Do you realize how it felt when I knew that you and Haley still cared about me? After all these weeks of loneliness, if I'm guilty of anything, it's weakness. That look of tenderness in your eyes, I couldn't give it up. Maybe I was just realizing it was easier to be your widow than your ex-wife. Money doesn't matter to you. That's not why you married me, Eliza. That's not why you stayed married to me after we lost the baby. You love me, Eliza. You're going to bring up the baby so you can soften me up to move in for the kill? I will, I will do anything to get through to you. I will do anything. And if that means breaking down every wall you put up, then so be it. I love you, and I'm not going to go quietly. Nor would you want me to. You don't want some sensitive, gentle soul tugging at your wrist. You want somebody just as strong as you are, just as determined and just as passionate. You're right. I know that's one of the things that you love about me. And I'm willing to admit when you're right. What does it cost you? A little pride, maybe? Well, I've gladly relinquished all of my pride. Go on, ask me anything. Did I lie to you? Yeah. Did I pretend to be more ill than I really was just so I could get your attention? Yes. Yes. Would I do it again? If that's what it takes. You're just as stubborn as I am, Liza. I know you, and you'd rather wrap yourself up in anger than give in to a delicious future. Maybe I'm just not as childish as you are. I mean, I've, I've thought a lot about this. Well, stop thinking. I know you love me. I knew that. That's why I put on this ridiculous charade. I knew that if you were given an excuse to show your true tender feelings for me, you'd remember that you still love me. Maybe you're the one that's thinking too much, Adam. No. I could see it in your eyes, and I felt it in your touch. When you thought I was ill, you still love me. Admit it. It's so sad. Oh, you love me. What could be sad? Because I'm leaving you. I am grateful to you. I really am. I didn't think that I wanted children ever in my life. And through knowing you, I know I do. But I want the children to have a, a calm and, and stable home. That's what children need. No, a child needs to know its parents love each other. And they'll do everything they can to protect that love. Well, maybe in the movies, but I think the children need dinner at six and help with their homework. And they need a hug and love and, and comfort so that they feel safe. So they are strong enough to go out and change the world. You run a television station, Isa. Dinner at six? Well, now who's fantasizing? I need a, a husband that cooks. <laughs> well, I have, I have a cook. I have my own cook. And I'll, I'll buy them their own No, Adam, restaurant. it's not about cooking. It's... I don't want to fight with you anymore. I'm not strong enough to go head to head, toe to toe with you every day. I swear I will give way to you on everything. I don't want to look over my shoulder every single day and try to see if you're doing something illegal or unethical. You know that core of you, that, that, that whole thing was, a, was a, an anomaly. That's right. You why know that. Why can you tell me? Why? Because
because you were too vulnerable. That's your word, Liza, not mine. You were afraid to be alone. You, you needed someone to stand by you, to shield you. And I was afraid if I told you the truth, you'd shatter. Because you didn't trust me. Because I was trying to protect you. By not respecting me. I would have told you. When? When you were stronger. When I was pregnant again? And I couldn't leave you? Do us both a favor. Stop chasing after me. And have Barry call my lawyer. Okay? Liza. Uh, Liza! It's happening again. This is the CIA. It's happening again. How stupid do you think I am? Liza, please. Call a doctor. I wouldn't call a vet for you. Please. Ask Liza. somebody who doesn't know you so well. Liza. 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 Please. I'm not thinking. This is real. I. I need. This is help. 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 Private. Yeah, thank goodness it's so uh, so mild outside. Well, I wouldn't care if it was 20 below. We just have to snuggle up to stay alive, wouldn't we? Well, who needs cold weather for that? Uh -huh. Oh, we, we didn't um, come to look at the lake? <laughs> you know exactly why we're here. Do I? Mm-hmm. And you know a lot more, too. But I know some stuff, too. Like what? Like who you are. Oh. And who would that be? Princess Jillian. Of the land of teas. Oh, Scott, you know you take all the sport out. Is it sport? Or slow strangulation? Well, what good's the hunt without the chase? What good's the hunt without the kill? you were saying? You're quite the surprise, Scott Chandler. Is that a good surprise or a bad surprise? Oh, delightfully good. I think um, you're definitely not the Puritan I thought you were. Well, good. Or the Boy Scout. I am always prepared. You know, you remind me of the Scott I first met in the gallery. You seem to like that Scott. Yes. But then he went away. And now he's back? Oh, yes. But with so much more... I don't know, you're just different. Is that a good different? Or a bad different? Mm, kind of different I would love to explore. That kiss. That's very intriguing. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Who said I liked it? You did. <laughs> You know, before when we were together, I always got the feeling that you were holding back. But now, I, I really, I really, f you know, felt in touch with a total Scott, and the total Scott takes my breath away. Well, when you came to town, I was coasting along. Pretty sure I knew where I was heading, just 
Not in a particular hurry to get there. Pretty accurate. Then what Laura and I had blew up and I was rocked. I didn't know how or why it had happened. But I was sure of one thing. Nothing like that's gonna happen again. I'm not gonna follow anyone around like a little puppy dog. That's what you did? More or less. Well, you really cared for Laura, didn't you? I still do. Not that it matters. And I thought I had my whole future plotted out. I thought, gee, I thought I was gonna be married. You believe that? I don't even know who I am yet. You know, Scott, you American kids. You either want to run your own empire by the time you're 12, or you want to be you want to be locked into a to a mortgage in a house full of kids. Who are you calling a kid? <laughs> you. But only in the cosmic sense. You're a very young spirit. We used to be guided toward enlightenment, maybe. Well, I don't know much about mortgages. It's not the kind of guidance I'm looking for. Who? <laughs> You, you really are different, Scott. Believe it. Maybe we should go somewhere where we can be comfortable. But it's so beautiful here. And the stars are going to come out. And we can walk around the lake. Or we could discuss the cosmos in front of the fire. Uh. At my place. My self-control is practically non-existent. And that's a problem? With a new scarf? I don't think so. Did you hear that, Scott? What? That. Uh, squirrels, don't worry. Oh, really? Yeah, they like to get together this time of year. Speaking of which... <laughs> Let's go start that fire. Payphone on the path where it turns to the boathouse. Hurry up. No, 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 no doctors. Just, just get me home. Do what I said, Jillian. But he said that And I... tell them to send an ambulance ASAP. No, no ambulance. You need medical attention, Uncle Adam. No, doctors. Idiots. Save your breath, save your breath. No, woke go. Oh, yes, you are going to the hospital. Go, Jillian. You're always wanting me to step up to the plate, Uncle Adam. Well, here I am. No. Go. Go relax. Concentrate Go. on breathing. Co listen to me. Concentrate on breathing. Slow, deep breaths. Slow, deep breaths. Come on. Come on. I don't care what you like or don't like right now, Uncle Adam. You're my only uncle and my father's only brother. Okay? Stuart. Shh. Relax. Concentrate on breathing. Come on. My dad loves you. I don't care how big a jerk you've been. You're, I'm not going to let you ruin his Christmas by dying on us. Now you hang in there. Come on. Breathe. Breathe. Come on. Breathe. That's it. Bye.